Wednesday brings us Made in Canada, and this week Maribel is back with a story of a woman with a real taste for beauty. This is Let Them Slather Cake, Maribel. <laughs> Not yes. eat, slather. Although that sounds really it good too. too. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, what we are talking about this morning is the super competitive beauty industry, which is worth $200 billion annually. And there is one Made in Canada company that is taking a big piece of that pie, though in this case, we should probably we say a piece of cake. With a name like cake, you'd think this was a bakery, but it's a beauty company where success is no less sweet. Heather Ryer is this cake's main ingredient. She started her business five years ago in her own home. I started it in the kitchen in Kitchener, Ontario, mixing up different lotions and scrubs and hand creams and that sort of thing. And what I really wanted to do was create a line of products that had a lot of great, decadent, beautiful ingredients like mango butter, shea butters, coconut oils, lots of great stuff, mix it together, package it in a girly, stylized sort of way, and have all of the products to a personality. They're all branded, obviously, with the name Cake, but they all have a personality in terms of their scent, in terms of their name, and how we relate to the consumer. This sweet brand includes names like Milk Maid, Sweet Cheeks, and Satin Sugar. Not the terms Heather used in her university years. Her background is in political science. Yeah, I have a degree in political science from the University of Western Ontario and it's a big kind of leap from political science to beauty and girly and, and all that sort of thing. Political science, I, I enjoyed that and it's, it's helped me because um, I learned how to kind of think strategically. There's a lot of marketing that goes on with politics. Politics is all about the brand, it's all about the, the sort of the appearance. So that leap into the kind of the beauty world, I'm a beauty junkie, I'm the quintessential girl that loves all things beauty, all you know, from makeup to hair to everything else. So it's the, the fit actually didn't seem so odd at the time and it seemed to work perfectly in my schooling, plus my, my passion were key to kind of create what you see today. What you see today is a beauty company that's enjoyed booming sales in Canada, the US, Europe and Asia. But getting shelf space in specialty and major department stores didn't come without hard work. Cake kicked up a grassroots marketing campaign to set it apart from the industry heavyweights. We sent out little cake boxes with little samples of all the products to the press and to retailers as well. I, we had handwritten notes, a really personalized sense about the brand and about the products that was really important to us. Um, really nailed home who we are, what we stand for. The idea that it was started in the kitchen, the idea that we sourced ingredients from Africa all over the world, that sort of thing. And really personalized who we were and what we stood for and um, they loved that. Now Cake has grown into about a dozen employees and worldwide sales reps. Heather's no longer cooking up beauty recipes in the kitchen. She's got two plants in Ontario that do that for her now. What hasn't changed is her passion for concocting potions for beauty junkies just like her and some top Hollywood celebs like Kate Hudson, Deborah Messing and Daryl Hannah. The celebrity is great, but the regular customers who we market to, she is a girl who appreciates quality. She is a girl who's savvy and educated, knows the, what products are out there, knows a good product from a bad product. She is discerning. She wants a product that delivers results. She, you know, her, her, her expectations are high. You know, essentially, I'm that girl. The other girls that work for Cake as well, she, they're that girl as well. So when we create a product, all of those thoughts go into it. So that's essentially who she is. So we followed uh, Heather Ryer along one day mm -hmm. and took her to, some people in Toronto may notice that that was Sephora, a very hip uh, makeup and beauty products store here in Toronto. But if you want to know where else to find the, the uh, products, you can log on to the website. Also, lots of other information about the company and its products, www.cakebeauty.com. Because it is available, as you said, widely in spas and some of the major retailers and right a around the number world. of spots. Yeah. Now, so when you said you were coming with cake, I was excited. <laughs> 
excited <laughs> because I generally view this as snack time <laughs> Wednesdays. Well, you know, they do smell good enough to eat some of the products, but Heather said, right, first try. Time, she said, don't eat them. Um, but I did bring something like that. This comes with a spoon. It's basically <laughs> like a manicure in a, in a box. Okay. This is, you slather this on, softens your skin and your cuticles, and then you follow it up with, which is what I was going to get you to try, Heather, Stuck was um, the hand cream, the interesting which I is very well packaged. There you go. Velveteen hand cream. All right, let's talk about the, the beautiful aromas of these creams because I've been using it. I didn't realize it was a Canadian company. Mm -hmm. Very happy to hear that. I've been using this for a long time. Love the products and, the, yeah. and it's just, it's gorgeous. The It's fresh and fruity and, and subtle and too. Subtle. You know, yeah, it doesn't not, overpower. No, it's gorgeous. What I wanted to highlight too, along with the other products that, that uh, Heather oh, sent nice. here, uh, was this. This is Satin Sugar Hair and Body Refreshing Powder. What may that be, you ask? I, <laughs> it looks like salt and pepper shakers. What, what do we do well, with that? It's kind of like, you know, uh, baby powder for, for grown-ups. And so you can put it on your body. It has also has a really nice scent. It absorbs moisture, um, but you can put it in your hair. And Heather Ryer says after she works out, she you basically sprinkle it into your hair, oh, and really? it sort of takes Instead care of, of shampooing. Yeah, yeah. So you don't have to, you know, women and a lot of men too. You know, you don't like to wash your hair every day. Well, this no. kind of keeps your hair fresh. So you and can it won an innovation award too. Eat your cake and wear it too. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Sweat all that stuff. Maribel, thank you. Another fascinating chapter as we look at made. In Canada success stories and we'd always like to hear from you particularly on Wednesdays for Marivell because if you have any ideas of companies or entrepreneurs that we should be profiling let us know our address is CBC News Morning at cbc.ca